This video deals with uses of the ablative case for the purposes of the National Latin Exam. We should probably actually call this less common uses of the ablative case. This video is only going to deal with these particular topics. We're not going to handle the normal uses such as the ablative accompaniment with cum or the prepositions like in or de or ex. We're not going to talk about the ablative with a or ab. And we're not dealing with the ablative comparison in this video. Those are all um, topics that most Latin students at this level should either understand or you'll be able to find more help in other areas of our practice session. This video only deals with the ablative with strange verbs, time when, separation, cause, and characteristic or description. Watch out for funky verbs that take an ablative object instead of an accusative object. The three most common ones are fruor, utor, and potior. One way to remember this is the word puff. Potior, utor, and fruor. So these verbs take an ablative object as opposed to an accusative direct object. The makers of the National Latin Exam love to put these verbs on the test. Here's an example. Oh look, we have usus est. Miles eros usus est ut hostes interficeret. Usus est, of course, is a form of utor. Remember, if we put the puff there, potior, utor, and fruor. So they want you to pick the ablative, sagittis. Here's another example. Danique princeps blank potitus est. Oh, look, they're trying to trick us with a different form of potior. Remember, it's one of our puff words. Potior, utor, and fruor. Feel free to look up the dictionary entries of these verbs if you didn't recognize potitus est as a form of potior. And the ablative, of course, is erbe. Here's another example. Can you find the special verb that takes an ablative agent? If you said frue batur, you're correct. That's one of our puff words. And the ablative object would be agno. The next use of the ablative that often trips people up is the ablative of time when. Remember, whenever we're thinking about space or time, it's always like this. The accusative case is used to talk about duration, for 100 years, for 10 miles. The ablative is talk, used to talk about a point in space or time, at 6 o'clock, at a certain place. So this is the ablative. So watch out for things that describe when things occur. That's a clue you, that you need the ablative of time when. In that year, there was a huge fire in Rome. Look, they've even got it in capital letters. This says when. That means if we're thinking about our diagram, accusative looks like this, ablative looks like this. So it must be right here, illo anno. Another example here, puere in the summer ludent. Notice the word in, that's a big clue. It's a specific place in time. Back to our diagram, ablative of time when, so it's right here, aestate. Another commonly forgotten use of the ablative is the ablative of separation. Two of the most common verbs that use the ablative of separation are liberare and prohibere. You are free from an ablative, or you are prohibited from an ablative in Latin. Here's an example. Roma blank liberata erat. Look, we have a form of liberare. So it is free from great danger in the ablative case. Remember, the two words with the ablative of separation that you will see most often are liberare and prohibere. Here we are, there's your clue. Milites Romani barbaros finibus Romanis prohibuit. The Roman soldiers, which by the way, it should be prohibo-errant, K 
kept the barbarians from the Roman borders. So that is an ablative of separation. Another commonly forgotten use of the ablative is the ablative of cause. And you'll see it when you have causa or gratia in the ablative case. Whenever you have causa or gratia in the ablative case, it's usually translated for the sake of a genitive. For example, here we have multi honoris causa bellum gerebant, causa in the ablative plus the genitive, for the sake of the genitive, right here. Another example, remember it's causa or gratia in the ablative plus a genitive, for the sake of a genitive. We're honoris gratia urbem non opugnabat. Here is our ablative, there's the genitive, and once again we have for the sake of honor. The final use of the ablative you should be aware of is the ablative of characteristic or description. And it just describes what a person is like, and they use the ablative case. Kaiser erat vir magna virtute. He was a man of great courage. You don't want to say with great courage, because that's not really describing him. He is a man of great courage. Okay, so a quick recap of the less commonly remembered uses of the ablative. First, we have our puff verbs. Those are verbs that take an ablative object, potior, utor, and fruor. Then we have time when. And remember, a point in time takes the ablative case. We have separation with liberare and prohibere. We have for the sake of, that's with causa and gratia in the ablative. Both of these take a genitive with it. And then we have characteristic or description. So those are the uses of the ablative that will most likely show up on the National Latin Exam 3 and 4 test. Good luck, have fun.